I think if you feel this thing, you know, it's it's going to, it, it still could probably stay up here another week or so, but we can't, the stress is too much for us. We're done. One, two, three. Oh! Yeah. Our baby's been born for us. Let's take it to the scale. All right. Here we go. Pretty good size. <laughs> hey, here we go. Drum roll. Um, That's what that is. That's a world record. <laughs> I'd like you guys to inspect the grapefruit and tell me if you think this is the, the natural grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> this area was discovered by my granddaughter, Anna Kate. And she said, Grandpa, I think this would be a perfect place for a fairy garden. So the kids went out and they started collecting the fairies in the fairy houses. So we started off with one little house and then they would go and they'd bring in other houses. And then we have our fairy up here with the chimes. That's the fairy protection. So then we made this especially for the tooth fairies. The reason why that grapefruit was such a monster yeah. grapefruit is because it was the magic of the fairy garden that created that and the fairies that lived there. My grandson found, saw that green grapefruit up there. He asked me, he says, well, that's a big green, uh, grapefruit. I said, I think it's so big because of the magic of the fairy garden. And we'll just see how big it gets. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>